guys, so for today's video, we are going to be looking at the customization choices for the Spring 2021 FabFitFun box, and I'm going to be sharing with you what I plan to pick out and if I'm planning on picking up any add-ons, that sort of thing. Uh, so if that sounds good to you, stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna scoot over here so I can uh, show you some pictures while I'm talking about the items. Uh, so if you're not familiar with FabFitFun, it is a seasonal subscription box. Uh, you can either pay in advance for a year or you can pay seasonally and you get four boxes a year so roughly once a quarter there's a winter spring summer and fall so next week the first week of february uh, the annual members will be able to shop the add-on store uh, and select their customization choices uh, so I'll go through each of those i do plan to film what we'll be showing in the add-on store so if you are a seasonal subscriber and you're curious what might be in the add-on store uh, when your window opens then make sure to uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, I should also mention the price so I think each box if you are a seasonal subscriber is around $50 and I think you get about a $5 discount if you are an annual member uh, and I will have a link down below if you want to subscribe. So looking at my subscription addiction which has a very helpful uh, breakdown of all the different options. Uh, so for customization choice one, which is open for all subscribers, uh, they have the first item is the Alice and Olivia Daisy print duffel bag. And it says it has a $150 value. I believe this is exclusive to FabFitFun, so you wouldn't be able to purchase it uh, if you went on the Alice and Olivia website, for example. Uh, it says it features a stay space silicone pole and the stay space is that little uh, icon of the woman with her hair in a bun and big sunglasses has a daisy print all over it says it includes a removable shoulder strap and uh, it has the dimensions which are 16 inches wide by 9.5 inches high by 8.25 inches deep and it has a 10 inch handle drop uh, so this is an item I plan on selecting just because I think it would be useful. Uh, I like the little stay space pole, but I mean the daisy print, I don't find objectionable, but I don't, I'm not like in love with it, but uh, I think it would be really useful for like weekend trips and that sort of thing. Once we're able to have weekend trips, of course. Okay, so that's one item I plan on selecting. The next is the Paracone MD Essential FX Acyl Glutathione Rejuvenating Moisturizer. Uh, this has a $98 value and it says it has a natural aromatic rose scent. Uh, vitamin F blend improves the skin's moisture barrier, which I always love. And Acyl Glutathione visibly reduces the appearance of wrinkles and creases. So I think for the first category, additional choices are $15. So I might, I'm thinking about selecting this one. For $15, getting a moisturizer that's $98 in value, it might be worth giving it a shot, even if I'm not totally sure it'll work out for me, but it might be worth a shot. I do like rose scents, but I don't love fragrance and skincare generally, so that's one thing to consider. Uh, the next is the Short Stories LED Indoor Planter. It says it has a $60 value, and you also get a packet of basil seeds, which have a $2.49 value. Uh, I believe Short Stories is a FabFitFun like, in-house brand, so I think I will probably select this as an additional add-on. Uh, I used to have an arrow garden that I've gotten rid of. <laughs> Uh, but I, I think it would be fun. Again, for $15, I think uh, it would be fun to play with. I don't know if you can see behind me, we have um, a rosemary plant and behind it, we have some thyme, I think is in there. So uh, we have one that is out on the balcony as well, but obviously that's all dead now because it's January. Uh, so I think this would be nice, especially for like starting seeds and everything. So that is another product that I'm very interested in. Uh, the next one is the Monroe Classic Watch and Sunburst Cellar Rose. I don't know how you say that. Uh, so basically, it's a rose gold watch with a gray handle. I don't know if it's a leather handle or what. Uh, this has um, a $105 value. 
It says it has one button cell and it includes a dust bag. It's an attractive watch, but honestly, since I got my Apple watch, I don't wear kind of traditional wristwatches anymore. So I, I just wouldn't have any use for it. So I probably will not pick that up. Okay, the next one is the Jenny Kane Water Hyacinth Tray with cutout handles. This has a $45 value, and it says you can use the tray to display candles, flowers, and more. Uh, I haven't quite decided about this one. I honestly, I don't need it. Uh, I might get it just, you know, for some sort of decor item. But, you know, that one hasn't really captured my heart. Uh, the next item is the Tech Candy UV Sanitizing Bed, which is supposed to have a $60 value. So there's quite a range in values between 45, 60, 105, another 60, and then 98 and 150. So quite a range there. Okay, so the Tech Candy UV Sanitizing Bed is supposed to have a $60 value. And basically it's a little plastic box that you can put your phone in and then it has the UV light that'll supposedly kill uh, staph, E. coli, salmonella. You have to put your phone in for five minutes per size, so basically it's a 10 minute uh, cycle. And it says it includes one charging cord, you can also sanitize IDs, that sort of thing. Uh, so there's a few, oh it has makeup brushes in there too, that's interesting. Um, so one YouTuber I watch, um, her channel name is Everything Proof Beauty. Um, she does a lot of FabFitFun breakdowns. She really goes into the weeds about ingredients and that sort of thing. And uh, she said that this kind of device, uh, you can't, how did she phrase it? Basically a device at this price point isn't really effective is I think how she kind of put it. It's, I don't know, in a way it could create a false sense of security where you're like, oh, you know, I don't have to worry about washing my hands or or being careful because I can just put my phone in this, you know, UV bed and it'll take care of it. So just something to keep in mind. I mean, I was kind of interested in it, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it would be a waste of money, but like at $15, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, and I think the, no, not even the last, boy, they really packed category one full. Uh, I think it's because, like I've been saying, this category has one of the higher, like, add-on prices, and so I think they want people to kind of choose more add-ons rather than putting some of them into, like, customization choice two or three or whatever. They want to make it harder for you to pick your first choice and then make you want to add additional ones. The next item is the Milk Makeup Watermelon Brightening Face Mask and Mini Watermelon Brightening Face Serum. It's a $44 value and it says the face mask, it has Swiss Garden Crest Sprout, Swiss Garden Crest Sprout <laughs> extract to help brighten the appearance of dark spots. Watermelon fruit extract hydrates immediately and it can be used as a spot treatment which is interesting. Uh, the serum says it delivers immediate hydration and vitamins A, C, and E help fight against free radicals. Uh, I think I'll, I'll probably just skip on this one. I'm not, I'm not totally in love with it. And honestly, like it says it's a $44 value. So I feel like by paying 15, I'm not getting like as much of a return as I would for the $98 face cream. So uh, I can always revisit that and purchase it somewhere else eventually if I want to. Okay, so the next one is the Shoshana Umbrella, and this has a $40 value. It says it features button on the handle for easy opening, and an umbrella sleeve is included. It has a little ruffle around the edges. Uh, on the handle it says, don't rain on my parade, which makes me kind of want it. I don't know. I'm not I'm not a huge like ruffle person, so I'll probably skip out on it. I mean, I don't know. I'm not in need of an umbrella, so I just I probably will skip that one. And so the, I think the next one is the last option for customization choice one. This is the Cal Pack set of three packing cubes and sorbet. It says it has a $40 value, and I guess it has a small, medium, and large packing cube, and it just says made with durable fabric, great for organizing. I do like packing cubes. I have some. I don't honestly like 
travel accessories are not very high on my list now of things to purchase. Uh, if this were the type of packing cube that had like, like two sides to it, so you put your dirty clothes in one side, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I might be tempted then because that is a style of packing cube I've been interested in, uh, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'll probably get those. Okay, so that was it for customization choice one. So for customization choice two, again, all subscribers can choose one of these items. Uh, the first one is the Our Place Lunchbox, which has a $35 value. And it took me a while to realize this, but this is the same brand that does the, uh, what's it called, that pan that's supposed to have like a million different functions that's always on Instagram. It's that brand. It says it is made from rice husk fiber and it includes a fork, spoon, knife, and chopsticks and it has an elastic band to keep the containers in place. And I think I looked this up and it is, I think, dishwasher safe. So that was definitely a plus for me. Uh, I think this is what I will probably pick up. Again, <laughs> I expect to be teleworking for several months more at this point, but I think eventually I will go into the office again and I think this would be a good thing to have on hand. I guess I'm generally curious about the brand. I don't have that pan that is so heavily advertised, but I'm kind of curious about it. So uh, I will probably select that one. Uh, the next one is the Billion Dollar Brows Six Piece Pro Brush Essentials Kit. This is supposed to have a $62 value. It says it has a powder brush, contour brush, foundation brush, highlighter brush, eyeshadow brush, and eyebrow brush. And it says it features charcoal infused bristles for an antimicrobial effect. I guess I'm not familiar with Billion Dollar Brows as a like manufacturer of brushes. If you didn't have very many makeup brushes and you wanted to get a bunch at a time, maybe this would be a good option. But I mean, this is just my like jar of dirty brushes that I need to wash and I have many more besides that. So I'm not in need of any brushes. Okay, so the next one is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil, and this is supposed to have a $49 value. It says it is a natural conditioning and moisturizing superfood for the skin. The oil absorbs easily, and it can be used on the face, hair, nails, and body. And I like a good, you know, basic oil like this. I just, I don't know if I need it right now. Uh, We'll have to see, I forget if category two, if it's a $15 add-on or $10 add-on. I mean, by itself, it's not a huge outlay, but it does kind of add up if you add a lot. So we'll see what my basket's looking like um, when I'm perusing the choices. All right, so the next item is the Splendid Faux Fur Slippers in pink. Uh, these are supposed to have a $48 value. It says they feature a premium cushion and there's two different size options. Uh, the small and medium, or small slash medium, fits U.S. women's sizes 5 to 7.5, and the medium slash large fits U.S. women's sizes 8 to 11. So, I think these are cute. I just, I don't think I, I don't know. I don't think I need these. I think I have plenty of, like, slippers and socks and everything, so I'll probably skip those. Um, they are really cute, though. Uh, the next one is the Gaim Ultimate Core Toning Kit. This is supposed to have a $50 value, and it includes the Core Plus Reformer and Mini Ab Ball, and also has an inflation straw and insert plug for the Mini Ab Ball. And it says it has an insert card to download the digital exercise guide and access workout videos. Uh, so, again, Everything Proof Beauty said that some of the reviews of this item um, so that the, uh, what is this called? Core Plus Reformer, I guess, uh, that it wasn't big enough for taller people. And I'm like 5'10", so <laughs> not that I'm super into like fitness to begin with. So these types of like strength training cords and everything kind of give me anxiety anyway, because I'm worried that they're going to snap and like hit me in the eye and you know, whatever. So I'll probably skip that. Okay. And the next one is the Steel Mill & Co. To-Do Planning Bundle. It has a $45 value. And it says it includes two dual-ended highlighters, five sticker sheets, and one planner. 
and the planner features uh, pages to write down to-do lists, appointments, and more. Uh, again, this looks cute. I just, I don't think I need it. I'm pretty happy with my current like planner situation, so I don't think I need that. Okay, so the last item for customization choice two is the MAC Cosmetics Powder Kiss Lipstick Duo. It has a $42 value, and uh, it says the lipsticks contain moisture-coated powder pigments that condition and hydrate lips. Uh, look of a matte lipstick with the lightweight feel of a balm. And the shades are Work, Work, Work and Reverence. And I actually have the shade Work, 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 which is what I'm wearing now, so I wanted to demo that for you. Uh, so they have a very like soft look to them, so if you are kind of scared about wearing a red lipstick uh, these are a good option because they're supposed to give you that like look where you just put powder on your lips uh, some people said these smell bad but they just smell like a normal MAC lipstick to me just like that vanilla scent so I don't know what people are talking about um, they do feel comfortable they have a very like silicone feel to them but uh, I have tried both this kind of bullet formula and the liquid lipstick, powder kiss lipstick. And I think I prefer these because they're easier to apply. Uh, I found the liquid version to be kind of messy just because of the shape of the applicator. So definitely more a fan of that. And if you like the color, I don't have the uh, Reverence shade, which looks like it is a kind of like mauve pink. If you like MAC lipsticks, you know, I say go for it. Okay, so customization choice three. So all subscribers will be able to pick one of these. So the first one is the Alice and Olivia reversible bucket hat. Uh, this is supposed to have an $85 value. And one side, the printed side uh, with the same pattern as the duffel bag, the daisy print, uh, it says that is twill and then it reverses to a white canvas. Uh, so I'll probably skip on this. It's not really my personal style, so uh, it's not it's not a product I'm keen to get. Okay, so the next one is the Bloomingville Woven Seagrass Coasters. These have a $35 value. Uh, it says they're hand woven and there's, I guess, assorted patterns. And again, I just, I don't have any for coasters right now, so I'll probably skip on those. Uh, the next one is the Joy Dravecki Chloe Ring, which is supposed to have a $75 value. It says the open adjustable end fits ring sizes 6 to 8. So it could be nice. I think if it were a silver metal, I might be tempted, but I typically go for uh, silver jewelry as opposed to gold, so I'll probably skip that one. Uh, the next item is the Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Hair Mask. Uh, this has a $55 value and it says it can be used weekly or overnight as a deep conditioning treatment and it has the almond and coconut scent accented with cognac. And I think I've gotten a sample of this before. It looks familiar but it's been a while so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I can always use another hair mask. I tend to use hair masks even as like my daily conditioner sort of product. Uh, so this, I'm not sure how big it is. 3.4 fluid ounce, so that is not a huge size. That's like TSA size basically. Uh, 100 mil, okay. Uh, so I'll probably pick this. Uh, I love almond scents, um, so that sounds great to me. So. There's nothing else in this category that's really calling my name, so I'll probably go with that. And I think it's something that I'll actually use, so that's always a plus. Uh, the last choice is the Verso Skincare Super Eye Serum. This has a $65 value, and I believe this has retinol in it. Yeah. So it has retinol, it's supposed to uh, reduce puffiness, keep the appearance of dark circles away, and make skin appear smoother and firmer. Uh, I already have some retinol eye creams and I don't use those all that often because I'm always worried that uh, retinol is going to cause irritation and I'm already I'm prone to eczema and I don't have like super sensitive skin but I'm always kind of cautious about that so 
uh, I will probably skip that one. Okay, so that was it for customization choice three. So for customization choice four, this is where annual subscribers can choose, but if you are a seasonal subscriber, FabFitFun will choose for you. Uh, so the first item is the Ahava Refreshing Cleansing Gel. This has a $24 value. It says it leaves oily skin feeling fresh. It conditions and cleanses skin for all day comfort. And I definitely do not have oily skin, so I think I will be skipping that one. Uh, the next one is the Sorbus Makeup Organizer, and this has a $30 value. It uh, has like a daisy print on the bottom of it. And uh, from what I understand, this is kind of a small organizer. Uh, and I just, I don't, I don't need this. Uh, I'm not crazy about the daisy print either. They really went hard on the daisy theming for spring, uh, it seems. Um, yeah, so I'll probably skip that. Uh, the next one is the Erno Laszlo Sea Mud Deep Cleansing Bar. And this has a $38 value. Uh, it says it's loaded with 26 minerals to exfoliate the skin. It's perfect for oily or stressed out complexions and it leaves skin soft and radiant. And uh, another YouTuber that I follow, her name is Katherine McCarty. Uh, she has very sensitive skin and I think dry skin. And uh, she says that she uses this, I think as part of her like, uh, like dual cleansing at night to remove makeup and everything. So I'm not really all that interested in it, but uh, if you do have drier skin and you're curious about it, I just wanted to add that as kind of an anecdote of someone who has more dry sensitive skin who uses uh, that product. Okay. So the next one is the Lark and Eyes Hair Scarf Bundle. This has a $30 value. And it says it includes a coral shade with a floral print and a solid cream shade. And it comes in a canvas linen pouch and it's 100% poly satin. Uh, so honestly, I might be tempted to get this just for like wearing in the eventual haul or unboxing video that I do so just to have it kind of in the thumbnail I mean that would pretty much be the reason why I would get this uh, I think this is a seven dollar add-on so I think it goes from like 15 to 10 to 7 I'm not sure exactly where the category breakdowns are I can't remember off the top of my head but uh, I think I remember that this one would be a seven dollar add-on so that's a maybe I mean I think it's probably worth about seven dollars so there you go. Uh, and the next one is the Grown Alchemist Body Cream. It has a mandarin and rosemary leaf scent. Uh, it says it's formulated with potent bioactive ingredients and it visibly restores skin elasticity and suppleness. So I'm kind of intrigued just by virtue of the scent alone. And I think I've seen people haul other like Grown Alchemist products and like boxy charms and that sort of thing. So I'm just, I'm a little curious about the brand. I don't know much about it. So I, I might pick this um, or have it as an add-on. I think $7 for a $26 value uh, body cream is not terrible. Uh, so I might select that as well. Uh, and then the last one for customization choice four is the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. And this has a $45 value uh, it says it contains milk protein and marine algae. It's infused with natural papaya and pineapple enzymes, and it gently dissolves dead skin cells. So I think I already have a sample of this that I haven't used, so I'll probably skip out on that one just because it doesn't make sense to buy a full size of something I'm not sure if I like when I have the option to test the product and I haven't been eager to do so. So I'll probably skip that. Okay. So that was it for customization choice four. Uh, for customization choice five, again, this is where animal, animal, this is where annual subscribers can select which item they would like to receive, but uh, seasonal subscribers, FabFitFun will choose for you. So the first item is the Pure Cosmetics Iconic Glow Illuminating Face and Body Dry Oil. And this has a $28 value. It says, it has a unique soft focused diamond powder that helps the skin glow and it leaves a soft champagne hue. So this 
so I'd be curious maybe I'll try and like find some swatches or something it looks very like yellow gold in the images I like products like the Glossier Future Dew and the Charlotte Tilbury that sort of thing so if it is like that I might be tempted uh, again I think this is like a seven dollar add-on type category so uh, it wouldn't be terrible to choose that as well uh, the next item is the camp collection dip dye market tote this is supposed to have a 25 dollars value it says it is a pink ombre dip dye and you can use it to carry groceries beach supplies and more uh, it is 99 percent cotton and one percent rayon uh, I just don't think this would be very functional for me. I mean, if I were the type of person that, I don't even know if farmer's markets are operating right now, but I feel like this is the kind of bag you would bring to a farmer's market. I, I just, I don't think I would get any use out of this, so I will probably be skipping that. Uh, the next one is the Coco Floss Tropical Trio, and this has a $28 value. It says it is super cleansing, soft textured dental floss and it's infused with vegan wax, coconut oil, and irresistible fragrances. Okay, so there's pure strawberry, Kara Kara orange, and uh, was it watermelon maybe? So I've never tried this um, type of floss or brand of floss before, and I feel like if picking one of the items allows me to replenish an item that I go through, uh, then that's probably a smart thing to pick. Uh, so I think I will probably be choosing this one either as my main item or as an add-on yeah so I'm, I'm curious about that and I've never had I don't think a non mint dental floss before so I'm a little curious what that'll be like but I guess we'll see okay so the next product is the summer and rose tweezer with pouch and I think summer and rose is another kind of in-house brand for that fit fun and it looks cute they say it has a $20 value I am a little particular about tweezers. I mean, I'm pretty much a tweezerman, you know, ride or die type person. So I don't know how those compare, but it's the type of product where I have lots of like random tweezers floating around. I'd like a truly exceptional pair of tweezers that's kind of leaps and bounds above your average tweezer for me to like pick it. So uh, I don't know kind of how those rate, but anyway. Uh, and then the last item in customization five is the H Halston Aloe Infused Gel Lime Socks and Pumice Stone. Uh, these are supposed to have a $40 value. Uh, they say they feature a self-activating aloe infused gel lining and a pumice stone. Uh, I think I might pick these up. So I've never tried this type of sock. I've tried the ones uh, from like Earth Therapeutics that have they don't have a gel lining, but they're supposed to be infused with aloe. And honestly, I just like the way those feel. I don't know if they actually provide any sort of like moisturizing benefits. Uh, so I might, I might pick this up for like $7. I think that'd be worth it. Okay, so that was it for customization five. So for customization six, uh, no one gets to choose. Uh, FabFitFun will choose an item for the subscriber. Uh, the first one is the Each Jewels Flower Hair Clips. It's a two pack. Uh, these are supposed to have a $30 value. And like I said, FabFitFun really went hard on the Daisy theme for spring 2021. I don't think this would be my first choice if I could choose, uh, but I'm sure if I get them, I'll wear them for my thumbnail and video. So there's that. Uh, the next one is the Human Plus Kind Hand Scrub. Elderflower and raspberry. This is supposed to have a $15 value. Uh, so I like elderflower um, scents and flavors and that sort of thing. I'm not a huge hand scrub user, so I'm not sure that would be like my, my top pick. Uh, it looks like there's only three in this category though, so there's not much uh, to choose from. Uh, the last one is the Earth Harbor Marina Brightening Ampule. This is supposed to have a $15 value. Uh, this might be what I would hope for the most. Uh, let's see if we can pull up some information about that. So I think FabFitFun is offering a smaller size than what the full size is. So they're saying it has a $15 value, but the 
full size is $38 and it's a one ounce size. So I'm not sure exactly how big the, the FabFitFun one is. Uh, so some interesting things about this one, it has uh, blue tansy and spirulina. So it says it has green tea seed oil, olive fruit squalane, uh, blueberry seed oil, rosehip, jojoba, uh, caprylic and capric triglycerides, spirulina, sunflower oil, blue tansy, uh, jasmine flower extract, and sunflower vitamin E. Um, so it's, I think, a fairly clean ingredient list. It says it's blue from the spirulina, blue tansy, and blueberry. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's what I would prefer to receive. Like I said, I, I like a good face oil. I have the Luna Sleeping Night Oil or whatever, so I would be curious to try that. Uh, and the other ones, I don't know. I'm sure I'd find a use for them, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so for customization seven, again, FabFitFun will choose the item. Uh, so the first one is the Skin Forum Suns Out Pouts Out Lip Mask. This is supposed to have a $16 value. And I've received lip masks before like this, and I just, I never use them. I use like face sheet masks, but not lip masks for whatever reason. So that wouldn't be my, my top pick. Uh, the next one is the Pink Sky Cactus Cup with Straw, and this is supposed to have a $20 value. If I received this, I would give it to my niece, who just turned two. It might be a year or two before she's like able to use kind of like a straw like that, but yeah, I think it'd be cute to give it to a kid, but <laughs> people have made some comments about the the selection and the shape of it and all that, so. I'll let you come to your own conclusions. Uh, so the next item is the Kelly Cosmetics Body Wash. This has a $22 value. And if I zoom in, it looks like it does have sulfate in it, which is something I usually try to avoid in my um, body care items because again, I do have dry skin, eczema prone, all that good stuff. So um, I try to avoid sulfates. So I'm sure my husband would be able to use it, um, assuming the scent was, you know, agreeable. So again, it's kind of like you're paying for an annual member, like 45 bucks. So if there's a few items in there that are kind of like usable, but not exciting, then I think that's fine. Uh, so that was it for customization seven. So for customization eight, again, FabFitFun will choose. And the first item is the Say, Beauty Makeup Rounds. Uh, it looks like you get three and they have a $15 value. I would be interested in trying these. I'm trying to use more reusable wipes and that sort of thing. I still haven't broken my addiction to the Shiseido facial cottons to remove eye makeup and that sort of thing, but uh, like today I used a makeup eraser to like remove swatches and that sort of thing. So I'm trying, <laughs> I'm not perfect and I'm still working on it, but I feel like the more, the more options, the more different ones you can try, the greater likelihood that you'll be able to find one that you like. Okay. So that's one I'd be happy to get. Uh, and I think the last item of this category, there's only two. Uh, so I honestly, I think I'd be happy to get either one. Uh, the last one is the Nails Ink Nail Polish, and this has a $15 value. And the shade they have listed on the website here is Mayfair Lane. It looks like an opaque kind of pink nude. So I like Nails Ink, and uh, actually I just took it off earlier today, but uh, I've been wearing this uh, Nail Kale Illuminator for the past week or so. I don't know if they still make this, but uh, it's just kind of like a sheer kind of white polish with shimmer, like blue kind of shimmers in it to make your nails look more bright and illuminated, I guess. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you as far as like the form factor goes. So um, the cap comes off, so that makes it a little bit easier um, to use. You can just, you know, hold this instead of this rectangular cap. Uh, and the other thing I really like about their polishes is the shape of the brush. So it's very flat, where you can be able to see it. Make sure I get off all the polish. 
Okay, so it's very flat and it has that curve to it, which makes it really easy to get a clean line. So uh, I do really like the brush they include with their polishes. Uh, so yeah, so either one of those would be great. I don't think I have a strong preference uh, either way. Yeah, so I think that's it for all the different options. Uh, so I do plan to film the add-on store when that launches. Um, so just to give you the dates again, um, for annual members, you can do the add-ons on February 4th and the customization on February 5th. Uh, I'm not sure why they do the add-ons first. Seems kind of backwards to me, but whatever. And then for seasonal members, your add-ons um, start on February 18th and the customization is on February 19th. And I just wanted to mention that I did put on these earrings today that I purchased from um, the add-on store. Okay, so these were the Nichelle Harlow Drop Star earrings and they were $17. Uh, so I think these are pretty cute. Just to give you an idea of what might be in the um, add-on store or whatever. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Please let me know what you plan to select for your customization choices. I hope everyone has a very smooth um, selection process, I guess. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already so you can see uh, my unboxing of the spring 2021 FabFitFun box eventually. And uh, until then, I hope you guys all stay very safe and healthy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.